Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the leaping for the column. That what is leaping and what is the leaping length for the column or for compressor members and what will be the leaping zones for the column and when we have to provide the leaping and when we have to provide the welding of the steel bars. So in this lecture, we will cover all those aspects related to the leaping for columns. So first of all, what is leaping and why we need leaping? So actually the bar, the maximum length of the bar provided from the factory or company is 10 meter. So the maximum bar length is 10 meter. For example, this is the bar length and it is maximum 10 meter when we take this bar from the factory. So what we do on the site, we want to lay this bar in order to provide in the structures because the high rise building may be of 200 meter. So we have to lay the steel bar in order to take and transfer the load to the lower stories of the building. So we put another bar with this bar and we lay this bar. Lay means that we either put some small spirals on this bar in order to join and act as a one bar or we will this bar. So there are two things. One is the overlapping of this bars in which overlapping of bars and the second method is the welding of bars. In welding we connect these two bars with the help of some electrical energy. While in overlapping of the bars we simply connect these two bars with a wire, with a small wire. So we want to connect this bar in order to transfer the load from one bar to another bar and so on in the whole structure. So this is the reason for providing the leaping for any structure. Now what is the leaping length for the column? So let's consider that these are, this is one bar coming from top and this is another bar and we provide the leaping here at this portion of the column. Now this leaping length, how much should be the leaping length for the column? This leaping length should be equal to the leaping length should be equal to the 45 into D, where D is the diameter of this bar. D is the diameter of this bar. Let's consider that our diameter of this bar, this diameter of the bar is let's suppose is 20 millimeter dia bar we use in the column. So what will be the leaping length for this column? So leaping length will be equal to the 45 into diameter of the bar which is 20 millimeter. So it comes out to be 900 millimeter or we can say 0.9 meter. So this leaping length will be equal to the 0.9 meter for the column having the diameter of 20 millimeter. And it should be also kept in mind that these standard specification are according to the IS 456 2000. This all today I will discuss are according to the Indian Standard 456-2000. And also the leaping length, the slipping length should not be less than the, should not be less than 75 millimeter. In this case we have 900 millimeter, so it's okay if we have for example, 60 millimeter leaping length by this formula, so we should not provide this leaping length, but the minimum leaping length should be equal to the 75 meter or greater than 75 millimeter. So this is another point for the leaping length in the columns. Now let's consider this is another diagram for the slab and beam, the slab and column. Let's suppose this is slab, which is directly connected with the columns and these are the column. This is one column. And similarly, this column is again connected to another slab and, and this is uh, on both sides the columns are then joined with another slab and beam and so on. So this is, I took just the general diagram from any RC structure. So these are the slab connected with the column and then again it connected to the slab. Now upon loading on the slab, the load will be transferred of course from slab into the, the column. And if we draw the bending moment diagram for this structure slab and b slab and column so if these are the reference lines 
this is the reference line for the bending moment diagram so the maximum bending moment for the column is always at their extreme portion so this is generally the bending moment diagram for the column the maximum bending moment we can see here at the extreme portion at this portion of the column we have maximum bending moment while going from the extreme portion up to the midpoint the bending moment reduces and at one point of the beam there is zero bending moment so this is the general bending moment diagram for the column now by looking into the bending moment diagram we should provide the lapping according to the bending moment diagram because lapping of steel bar is strongly dependent on the bending moment diagram for any structure members so we see here that the maximum bending moment here at this portion of the column while at the mid portion we don't see any bending moment or we can say there is very slight bending moment here at the mid portion of the column so this is the general overview of bending moment diagram because from the bending moment diagram we will go into the lapping zones of the column now again this consider this is in a beam or maybe slab and this is again column vertical member and this is again beam or slab provided so this is the general again overview of the uh, beam uh, the slab and column connection that how they are connected with one another so after looking into the this bending moment diagram most of the codes but all the standards and codes recommended that the they should be used they should be divided into three zones the column the one is called a zone the next one is known as the b zone again the lower portion is also known as the a zone so the codes recommend that the lapping should only be done in the b zone this zone lapping is allowed the lapping is allowed only in this zone lapping is only allowed here no lapping is allowed again here no lapping is allowed now what will be the length of this zone a so it's a question here so the lapping length of a zone is this is l by l by 4 and similarly this zone lapping a has also the similar lapping length lapping zone length is l by 4 where the b zone where the lapping is allowed the length of this zone will be equal to the l by 2 now what does this mean l by 2 means that the half of the length you, in the half of the length of the column or height of the column you can provide the lapping in this zone in b zone so this is a steel bar coming so you can only overlap in this zone you cannot overlap your bar steel bar and a are here at the top portion you can you are only allowed to overlap your beam in this region which is known as the b region and the height or the length of this region is l by 2 now if this is the total length of the column l let's suppose this length of the column or height of the column is 16 foot so l by 4 means if i divide the l by 4 16 by 4 it means 4 foot so up to the 4 foot distance from top of the column no overlapping of the beam is allowed because we have maximum bending moment here so this is directly related to the bending moment diagram again at the lower portion l by 4 which is equal to 4 foot you are not allowed to use the overlapping of the beam at this portion so l by 2 is 16 by l is 16 and divided by 2 8 foot so it means at the 8 foot distance at the 8 foot you can provide the overlapping of the column where we can see there will be really only low bending moment at this portion of the beam so hope you guys understand that why we provide the lapping and what are the different zones of the lapping for the column and what is the lapping length for the column hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel and please like and share the video